Superman got a new costume and everybody's reacting. But I think they're missing the bigger point. And I think it points to some lasers in the sky. Now, it looks like they just released new images of uh, whoever this guy is who is going to be the new Superman. And people have thoughts. People are reacting. Uh, his name's David Cornesweat. Cornesweat? Terrible name. He should have made a fake name. He'd be much better off. Anyway, it's like Henry Cavill Light, right? So, you got a lot of people who are kind of upset, and we're going to take a look, but I think there's something we're all kind of missing here. Again, like and subscribe. Would really appreciate it. I always forget to do it while I'm in the middle of videos and I'm watching, I go, I can't believe I forgot to do that. But it really helps the channel, allows me to keep doing what I'm doing. I do appreciate it, but let's get on to the point at hand. Let's take a look at the image itself first, and then I'm going to make my point, which is... Hey, take a look at Superman! Superman! He's looking all right there, you know. I mean, looks fine. I'll have to hear him talk before I actually judge anything. And it's like, yeah, look, he's, he's lacing up his boots. Okay. I mean, the suit doesn't look that much different from the one that was Henry Cavill wore. So, like, am I supposed to be have some sort of feeling one way or the other about it? But what I really want to point out is, is James Gunn so unoriginal that he's going to have Superman fight a giant sky beam again? Like, come on, people. What is going on here? I thought we were out of the age of giant sky beams. Can't we just have some sort of just different ending, a uh, different climatic battle? Does it always have to be a beat-em-up of, like, galactic proportions of just sky laser beams so what i did was took a look to see how many movies and this is an article from 2016 that's a long time ago folks a quick word this is a i don't know who wrote this hold on this is from the observer a quick word from the sky beam in every superhero movie What's up, nerds? It is I, the giant beam of light shooting in the sky for every superhero movie ever, and I am here to stay. Yeah, because even back then, it's a giant sky beam. GSB, for short. People have been making fun of this since 2016. Why are we going to have another giant sky beam? Why? It's ridiculous i just don't get it and again this is from 2016 there's even one in suicide squad for no reason they're not even space aliens like what is going on here i like i really like the one from man of steel but come on people what's with the giant sky beam you know uh, independence day did it first and did it best so again let's take a look james gunn shared this James Gunn shared this. We have to deal with yet another giant sky beam. Really? Really, people? Is that what we're doing here? Every movie with a giant sky beam. This is from List Challenges. I didn't even know some of these movies existed. They're like, whether it's a teleportation beam, a destruction laser, an interdimensional portal, or just a bunch of evil spirits shooting everywhere. So apparently there's one in Amazing Spider-Man. The Avengers... Age of Ultron and the regular Avengers and Avengers Infinity War, Big Hero 6. I don't remember the one in Captain America, but maybe there's one. Riddick, the Chronicles of Riddick. Uh, Dark City. I mean, it's been going back. Fantastic Four Stick apparently has one. Fifth Element definitely has one. Ghostbusters. Yeah, they kind of they have one in Ghostbusters 2016 and the original Ghostbusters. Hellboy. Good, great. Independence Day, Independence Day Resurgence, Iron Man. I don't remember there being a beam in Iron Man, but I'm going to take this list word for it. Justice League definitely has some sort of sky beam. Man of Steel, like, it's been done to death. James Gunn, I thought you were supposed to be smarter than this. I thought you were going to give us something different. thought you were going to give us something new. Yep, Rogue One, definitely Raiders of the Lost Ark. 
<laughs> Does Shin Godzilla count? Yeah, I guess. Skybeam, definitely, for sure. And look, it's just a trope, and it's been done to death. But look, at, am I supposed to be impressed by this? I just don't understand. Why, why are we doing this again? I just It makes me think that this is going to be unoriginal, because... You know, James Gunn has made a big deal about saying, like, I never, in I always intended in recasting Henry Cavill. I know, you know, I, I was going to make a younger Superman who was in it. Shut up, dude. We all know what this is. You want to put your own mark on it, and you just don't feel like being tied up with the baggage of the old guy for whatever reason. We could have had really good times with Henry Cavill, and you guys botched it. And now... I think it looks derivative, and everyone's going to see through you, and it's not going to do that well. So, I mean, I just I just don't see it. I just don't see it. Unless Rachel Brosnahan's willing to whip out her big old jubblies, I don't think we're going to have a lot of people coming to see this. I don't know. Just saying, people. Just saying. James Gunn can't save this one, it looks. In my opinion, maybe I'm prejudging, but come on, I at least think it's worthwhile to say no more giant sky beams. So that is all. That is my public service announcement for the day. No more giant sky beams. If you like this, like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Tell me what you think. Would you rather have Henry Cavill back? Do you like the way this guy looks? They're trying to put that little jerry curl thing in his hair. Looks fine, I guess, to me. He looks like the suit doesn't fit that well. <laughs> like, is he going to bulk up a little bit? But let me know in the comments below. I definitely read them all and respond. And uh, like and subscribe would be a great help to me. I would greatly appreciate it. We would enjoy that. Here at Our Reviews Will Kill You. You can also catch our full-length audio podcast on iTunes. You can also catch the live stream, which is on Friday nights. And uh, we have replays of it here on the channel. You can come check it out 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Friday nights. And you can catch us on Rumble as well. Join the channel. Do all that great thing. Hit the notifications, bells, things, whistles. We would love it. We love you. Thank you for listening. But I'm on to the next one.